Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Celine here. So today I'm back with a brand new video. I know, I know it's been a really long time since I uploaded a video. It's been like three to four weeks, I think, but um, I just, I'm really not gonna make up any excuses here, but the main reason why I haven't been uploading is because I've been trying to decide what college I wanna go to and just figuring out colleges in general because with acceptances and just trying to figure out what's the best option for me. Finally, I made a decision. I am so beyond excited to share with you all my decision. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you already know what my decision is and just like, where I want to go and where I am going. But today's video is basically gonna cover what I plan on studying in college and also where I'm going. So without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So I applied to a number of schools, but ultimately I got accepted into eight of the schools that I applied to, so I'm very happy about that. And my main choices that I was considering for the longest time have been uh, Boston University and Cornell, ultimately. And after visiting Boston twice, and after visiting Cornell, and just different schools in general, I decided around November, October-ish that Cornell was ultimately the best choice for me. So a number of different things happened for me because if you are at all familiar with the um, college system here in the US, there's a number of different options that you can do. There's early decision, there's early action for some schools, and early decision for some schools. Not every school offers early decision, which is a binding decision, meaning if you apply early decision and you get in, like you have to go there um, regardless of anything, agreeing to financial things ahead of time. Um, there's there's waitlisting, there's deferring, there's acceptance, there's rejection, there's a number of different things that are just so beyond complicated. Um, I have been admitted for Cornell for my second year and after my second year. So basically when I graduate, it looks like I'll be graduating from Cornell University. So what Cornell offered me was essentially a transfer option and they basically told me that I'm in, but for my second year. So they want me to complete all my required courses for my first year at a different university. I chose Pace University in New York City just because Pace gave me a really great scholarship that was very hard to turn down. And also, Pace is somewhat close to where I live, so not only will it be um, a place that I'm familiar with, which is, you know, Manhattan, it's in New York City. Well, they have two locations, but I'm going to the one in Manhattan just because if it's Manhattan, like, why wouldn't I want to go? So it's that, it's close to my home, and just, honestly, I've always wanted to study in Manhattan regardless, so I think it'll be a really great time for me to spend my first year there, and then also take the required courses that Cornell needs me to take at Pace, so that way when I transfer over to Cornell, like for my sophomore year, no questions asked, I have the GPA that I'm required to um, complete already set, the classes I needed to take are set, so everything is done. So that's basically what um, I decided on doing. So Pace for my first year and then completing university with Cornell afterwards. This isn't like a regular transfer. It's not like I have to submit an essay and like sending over everything and basically saying why I'm transferring. Like they're not asking for me to do that at all. I'm already accepted basically. I just have to um, maintain the GPA that they want me to maintain and take the classes they need me to take elsewhere. So. I'm just so ecstatic because it's not like I'm going to have to, you know, fight for my grades and really do all these things because essentially all I have to do is just keep on doing what I'm doing basically and everything will be set for sophomore year. Afterwards, I'll be graduating from Cornell, so I'm very excited about that. So I talked about this on my Turkish channel a little bit, and I was saying exactly what it is that I want to study, and I was talking about the systems in Turkey versus the system in the US. Um, I know not obviously all of you are Turkish, it's also why it's my English channel, because obviously not everyone here speaks Turkish, but basically in Turkey what the system is, um, well for me, let me just put it this way, I am planning on studying law, I'm planning on being a lawyer, so in Turkey the system's a little bit different if you want to be a lawyer, what you have to do is after you complete high school, you go straight into um, school for being a lawyer. So not really law school, but your college basically is your law school, and after that, you're done, you're basically a lawyer. But here, it's you go to a university for four years, and then after that, then you could go into a law school after taking like the LSATs and things like that. So with Cornell, I was accepted into the uh, Industrial Labor Relations School in which I'm planning on studying uh, law afterwards. And I'm planning on concentrating in women's rights, in um, domestic violence cases, so things that are pretty relevant to what I've always been talking about on my channel and things that I'm very interested in. And I also love reading, I love writing, so it just makes sense for me to be a lawyer and also um, help someone. So if I'm able to help someone that needs to be spoken up for, then obviously I'd like to do that very much. So that's basically what I want to do in life, but yes. 
So I just wanted to make a quick video to clarify um, because on Instagram and Twitter I posted that I'm going to Pace dash Cornell. So people were asking, is Pace does it have a partnership Cornell? Like how is it going to work? But really, I'm just spending my first year at Pace and then I'm transferring over to Cornell. So I'm very very excited about this because Cornell has been a school that I've been considering since around say like the 10th grade since I learned about the Industrial Labor Relations School because it's a smaller school and everyone works collaboratively for the most part. Obviously, like, it's every individual for themselves, but, like, there's a lot of group projects involved, so it's just a very tight-knit community that's at the school, so I'm very excited about that. Well, that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry again for not making a video in a long time, but please expect more videos to come in the future. I'm very excited to make more now that, you know, APs are almost over. They're gonna start, but they're almost over. I'm kind of over them already. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to my channels if you have not already, and I'll see you guys next time.